Alright, hello everybody! Welcome to the first episode of Terrifying on NotFest.com, the show where me, Guarsenio Hall, and Dan Housen rank <laughs> on the internet. So on this show, we're gonna be ranking Cannibal Corpse album art from a very specific tier. We got very nice, very evil, pretty good, not bad, mostly fine, well-intentioned, kinda crap, sorta rude, and then the bottom tier, we got big mean, big nasty. Don't have to help Dan Housen remember all these. You remember the top tier, which is uh, which is the key one. Very nice, very evil, yes. We're gonna be doing these in chronological order. So we're starting off with Cannibal Corpses, Eaten Back to Life, the first album with Chris Barnes. Oh, oh, this one, this zombie fellow with jeans. He's got nice jeans on. He's got good <laughs> jeans. Yeah, they're from Diesel. Yes, yes, very expensive. Appears to be eating his own intestines. Yes. So, so he looks to be having quite a good time. What is he? Very nice, very evil. Yeah, very nice, very evil. Look at him, he's smiling. He's smiling while he eats his own uh, stomach. You love to see. Oh, yes. Next up, we're going Butchered at Birth. That's most people's favorite oh. Animal Corpse album. I would actually agree. It's also, I think, a very friendly album cover. What do you think? appears to be stabbing someone. This fellow on the right does not look like they're having a good time. The other one does not have eyeballs though, so. What, what is the medium one? With the medium one, uh, we have mostly fine, well intentioned. We'll do mild sauce for this one. <laughs> it just does not look like he's enjoying this. It seems like uh, treacherous work. Yeah, I was reading it as friendship, as like oh. these are two men at work, but you know what, maybe they're co-workers and they don't hang out outside the office. Does not seem so. Mostly fine, well-intentioned, for butchered at birth. Yes. To remind those watching, this is not based on the quality of the album. We're just, we're going off album, album covers alone. Yes, do not yell at us about the opinions of this album. This is not that, not that. Not that. But what this is, is our third album cover, and it's Tomb of the Mutilated oh, oh. from 1992. So we got Tomb of the Mutilated. Oh, this one. This there we go. Fell, they both have seemed to fall in. <laughs> this is terrible. They both fell. They got blood on the sheet that they fell on. And there is a, oh, no. a worrisome head off to the side. What is the worst here? This seems like a bad time for everyone. Is it, you think the head is worried that it's just a head? Yes. This, yeah. uh, yes, oh my, yes. Everyone has fallen and is having a terrible time. We should rank this the worst. Okay, all right. We got big, mean, big, nasty. Oh, yes. They fell down. And ruined the sheets. Falling down and ruining the sheets. Tomb. All right, Tomb of the Mutilated. It's going big, mean, big, nasty. Next up, we have 1994's The Bleeding. Uh, Dan hasn't doesn't like this one. What don't There's you not like enough going on. And at the same time, it is too busy. There's a lot of people, but they're not not—they're not doing a lot. No, this one also gets, uh, what is it? Big big bad time, big bad nasty. <laughs> <laughs> there's also, it's called The Bleeding, and there is not nearly enough blood. Based on the other three albums we've looked at, not enough bleeding no. on an album called The Bleeding. All right, yeah, so we're putting it in big bad Beetleborgs. Yes. There we go. Bleeding in big mean, big nasty. And moving on, we're going to Vile oh. from 1996. We're going Vile. Yeah, this one, this fellow seemed to be having a good time. He's got his teeth out. He's smiling. Ah, He's yeah. also chopped in half with uh, barbed wire. He looks like Derry from Jeeper Creeper. <laughs> and guys, uh, he's no... What is the uh, tier right above worst? Uh, we got kind of crap, sort of rude. We'll do kind of crap for this one because the movie is bad. All right. Because it reminds Dan Housen of a bad movie, Vile is going in kind of crap, sort of rude. He's sort of rude, yes. He's covered in barbed wire. That's rude. It's rude to be covered in barbed wire. It's very rude. This early in the morning. And for the next album, we're going Gallery of Suicide from 1998. Oh, this one looks like 13 Ghosts. Yeah. The very nice, very okay. evil then. 13 Ghost, sure, it stars Tony Shaloub. <laughs> it did not come out, at, it might have came out in 1998, who knows? So you know what to give this? We'll give this very nice, very evil, there's no way of telling. But this album art must have been inspired by Tony Shaloub's great hit film, 13 Ghost. Yeah, Gallery of Suicide, very nice, very evil, because it reminds Dan Housen of Tony Shaloub. Yes, uh, watch out for the jackal. Oh boy. Show CGI one in. CGI in the jackal? <laughs> Thank you so much. And now we're moving on to Bloodthirst from 1999. Little bug man. Yeah, oh, yes, oh. 
is gross. This one makes the Dan Hammer. Uh, Dan Hazen can even remember his own name because he wants to vomit in terror <laughs> based off of this. So, oh my. We'll give this. Uh, what do you like it though? It looks nice. It's got little bug legs. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we'll put it in the tier right at under. Very nice, very evil. Okay, we're going pretty good. Not bad. But Oh, he's got. He's got another set of arms, oh. I just realized, that are holding up uh, oh, the head yes. from before. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, helping out that head that looked worrisome last time. Looks like it's having fun now. Oh, that's good. We're going into Gore Obsessed from uh, oh. 2002. Oh, yes, this one is nice. Yeah. Well, the fellow seems to have a cape made of faces. Dan Housen loves capes and also loves the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So we should give this a very nice, very evil. Ooh, very nice, very evil. Love a, love a face cape. Yes, 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 absolutely. Dan Housen has one similar. And is he holding? No, he's not holding a What's he holding in this one? It looks like a liver or a steak. Probably steak. Probably steak. Nice steak absolutely. to feed his friends. And we're going to go to Longhorn, everybody. Yes, yes. Oh, my. Yeah. It's expensive. All right, we are moving on to the Wretched Spawn from 2004. This one is terrifying. But this fellow on the right is uh, holding the same hands Dan Housen does. Yeah. Don't do it, you're afraid. This. Yeah. So, it looks like everybody's mostly having a decent time. Give it the middle. Middle, middle one. Middle ground. We're going middle ground because everyone's having a nice time, especially that the little man that's coming out of the... Uh, the mouse. That woman's chest. Oh, yes. They're all not having a nice little evil time. What do you think that guy's name is? Todd. Todd. Todd, All definitely right. Todd. All right, because because Todd is making an appearance, uh, we're going uh, mostly fine, well-intentioned yes. for the Wretched Spawn album cover. Oh, yes. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Todd. And we're moving on to Kill from 2006. All right, well, this one gets the worst. It's just letters. It's just letters. This is bad. Did they run out of ideas? To be fair, these are very violent album covers. Maybe this time they just needed a break. Perhaps, or perhaps they forgot to pay someone to paint them a painting. <laughs> All right, we're going big, mean, big, nasty. Yes, yes, yes. Because it's just letters. Yes. Pass. All right, and we're moving on to Evisceration Plague from 2009. Uh, well, this one is also, there's not much going on, but there is a fellow who has good eyeballs. Oh, yeah, very good eyeballs. Yes, we'll put this one right above the worst one because it has that, but it's still not really anything. It's maximum of five guys. Yes. And normally when there's at least five guys in a Cannibal Corpse album cover, they're all do they're doing something. Yes, but no one here. No one's having any fun with anyone else's body parts or anything, so we're going kind of crap, sort of rude. Yes, they look startled. They look startled. <laughs> we're moving on to Torture from 2012. And it looks like we got some business oh, on this one. Finally, it'll get ranked above the other ones, that's for sure. Yeah. It's got these man with a skeleton mask and some scissors having a good time doing some arts and crafts. So we should give it middle tier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, we're going middle tier. Yes. Because arts and crafts. Everybody flexing their creative muscles, important stuff. Yes. We're moving on to a skeletal domain from 2014. Yes, there's not enough skeletons. Skeletal domain and there's like three skeletons. Worst. Worst. Not enough skeletons in the skeletal domain. False advertisement. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. It's got a skull tower, but that's not an actual skeleton. It is a lie. It is a lie. All right, we're moving on. We got red Ooh. before black. This one has Kurt Russell wearing a tooth bracelet, so it's pretty good. Well, we're very nice, very evil on this one. The Big Trouble Little China yeah. cover with a uh, tooth bracelet added in. Jack Burton. Yes, very nice, very evil. It's a wonderful bracelet. It's all in the reflexes. Goosh. Oh. But we're moving on to actually the last one. There are officially two album covers for their latest album, Violence Unimagined, but we're going the one that they actually released and they pushed because that's that's what the world knows. We're going, we're going Violence Unimagined. This is the one, uh, well, this looks pretty good actually. Dan has a nice this one. It's got the mouth open with the big tongue. Yeah! Uh, uh, now we'll do very nice, very evil on this one. Very nice, very evil for Violence Unimagined. Has nice, nice hair and uh, just a focus right on the head. Yeah! Gets to the point. Here's what it is. Based on, from Danhausen's reviews, the very, the best Cannibal Corpse album covers are Eaten Back to Life. And then we got Gallery of Suicide. Then we have 
gore obsessed because we love a face cape. Oh, yes. Gotta have a face cape. We love Big Trouble Little China, especially when it has more blood. Yes. So we got red before black, and we got violence unimagined. The last thing we gotta do is we gotta is you have to put in order which is your favorite album cover of these five. Oh, let's see real quick. One to five, oh my. So the top ones, you say? Number one is Eating Back to Life for sure. Uh, the Lady with the Evil Mouth. Lady with the Evil Mouth is number two. Jack Burton, number three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was the other one? Face Cape? Face Cape, face yes. Cape. Face Cape, number four. Oh, switch those. We'll switch those. Okay. Flip flop. Face Cape is number three? Yes. Okay. And then the other two are, you can put whatever. Okay. They're interchangeable. All right, we got Eaten Back to Life, Violence Unimagined. And then we got Gore Obsessed. Then we have Red Before Black. And then Gallery of Suicide as number five. There we go. Those are the Cannibal Corpse album covers. Oh. This is the official spooky ranking. So this matters. It is what it is. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. Next time, we're going to be reviewing the stories that you tweeted at us about the reasons that uh, that the owl showed up on the Jericho cruise outside of Dan Housen. For like eight hours. That that owl came to, to party. All right, goodbye! See you later. Have a good day.